Star Ledger Newsroom, Tuesday, September 16th. Well, the nation's 21-year-old drinking age has become a really hot topic in New Jersey lately after a group of college presidents, 129 of them nationwide and three in New Jersey, fired off a letter saying that we need to have more debate in our society over whether the 21-year-old drinking age actually fuels and contributes to binge drinking, especially on college campuses. They say that maybe by lowering the drinking age to 18, 19, 20, around there, you might actually be able to allow people to drink and students to drink in supervised settings like campus pubs and then cut down on binge drinking. Well then into this whole fray jumps New Jersey State Senate President Richard Cody. Now Cody did not have to get involved but he's vehement in saying that this is a terrible idea and he is demanding from all the colleges in New Jersey plans. He wants them all to submit exactly how uh, they combat drinking on campus. He is also saying that maybe legislative hearings coming up on this topic. On Friday, I stopped by Cody's office to talk about why he decided to jump into this whole debate. I went to college, and in college, frankly, I drank my face off, underage. And part of it, I think, was the taboo. Part of it was, you know, this is exciting, this is something we're not supposed to be doing, and also the fact that it was was banned. I couldn't go down to the pub and have a couple of beers. So what did we do? We snuck a bottle of vodka, hard liquor into the dorms, and people really, that, that's binge drinking. And, and don't, don't you think that that th prohibition contributes to that? To don't that? you think that went on when I was a kid? Sure. But there's a mass of students who, if it's illegal, are not going to do it. Okay? I, I'm, my head's not in the sand. I understand that this will continue to go on, but hopefully at a much, much lower number. And, and the questions we need to ask is, what is the policy on campus? You know it's going on. How are you enforcing the law? What do you do to interact with the police? When you find a student underage drinking, maybe even binge drinking, what's the results of catching that particular student? Do you suspend them? Do you notify parents? Do you notify That's local? What you're trying to get out here. You yeah. Do you notify out. local uh, police authorities? Do you want a kid to have a criminal record for having a few beers when he's 19 years old, and then have that affect no, but, their future? No, but you, you want to see some penalty imposed on the student uh, as a means of sending a strong message: it's illegal. Mm -hmm. Cut it out. All right, now that was just a snippet of my conversation with the former governor. The full interview and our full discussion can be found on the Ledger Live blog page at nj.com slash Ledger Live. All right, moving on. Pet owners, do you get this feeling this in the pit of your stomach every time you have to take your dog or cat to the kennel when you go on vacation? Well, in Morris County, there is a pet inn, and it is quite... Uh, quite a bit nicer than a lot of the places, frankly, that I stay when I go on vacation. Now, I'm not sure whether this next video was the cutest thing I've ever seen or the latest example of our wealthy society's most gross excesses, but I will let you decide. Upscale Mars Animal Inn. How are you today? You get lots of attention, huh? custom beds are available, as well as spacious, multi-level suites. We have a spa day where our pets can come in and they can get a grooming, they can get a pedicure. Um, they can also enjoy a luxury suite um, and activities. We have uh, bedtime tuck-in services that we offer. We have an indoor pool where they can come and splash around. <laughs> freedom. It's freedom to jump. It's freedom to go against the current, get the toys, retrieve. That's what they were bred for. They're bred to retrieve. So this is the perfect opportunity for him to get rid of that energy. I keep telling my husband I want to come back as one of the dogs in camp because they get so much attention and they get to play and don't have to worry about paying bills. It's wonderful. It's just wonderful. You gotta wonder whether with all this turmoil on Wall Street and the stock market tanking, whether maybe some people might be cutting back on uh, you know free trips to the inn for Fido, but we'll, let's go keep an eye on that. All right, there is a fascinating post on our blog, uh, on our website njvoices.com today, and it criticizes uh, GOP vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin. It calls the Republican uh, candidate out for being what what the the writer criticizes her for being a member of the political old boys network in her native Alaska. Who's the author of this piece? 
Well, it's Carla Katz. She's the former president of New Jersey's largest state worker union. You'll remember she's also the former girlfriend of Governor John Corzine, the one he gave millions of dollars to. Yes, Katz is calling Palin a member of the old boy political network, and it is drawing more comments than anything else on NJ.com. And quite a few people are calling Katz out, including Paulie Balls, who comments, Miss Katz's op-ed piece defies description. Your paper is so in the tank for the Democrats, it's sickening. What next? Joanne Chesimar doing an essay on the New Jersey State Police? Ouch. That's a reference, of course, to Joanne Chesimar, who was wanted for uh, killing a state trooper. J.B. Ken says, shocking. Alaska is obviously a cesspool of political corruption. How does all this stuff get made public? It makes the state look bad. Don't they have lawyers there to block any attempt to get public records and emails? Also, a reference there to Katz's own battle to keep her emails with Corzine secret. All right, hot stuff. Keep in touch. Send us your photos, your videos, your emails. You can shoot them to us at ledgerlive at starledger.com. All right, Jersey, take it easy.